Hello, how is going? Today I prepared color grading tutorial for high-end commercial. Camera is Red Weapon AK and the same technique you can also use for your DSLR mirrorless camera. Ok, this is Red Raw Clip. I'm gonna color grade and show you how to get high-end commercial look. First, let's see how final grade gonna look like. In the first moment, you might think it's complicated, but I assure you if you stay with me till the end, I reckon you'll be able to do the same once I teach you the procedure. Yeah, you can apply the same for the music video also. Shout out to Red Komodo new users. This tutorial will be perfect for you too. Since I'm using three screens, my scopes are not visible at the moment. So I'm gonna open it in the main screen so I can see what am I doing. And here's my starting point for red raw footage. Color science is IPP2, color space, red white gamut, and gamma curve is a log 3G10. Here also you can set BT8 in 86 to get nice starting point. Some additional options like highlight roll off. But for this tutorial, I'd like to show you how to start from look completely flat. So let's start with the first node. This time there is no need to create node tree in advance. So I'll create them through the process. Ok, first I'm gonna adjust the contrast. Yeah, yeah I know it looks ugly at the moment, <laughs> but just wait. Next I'm gonna use pivot, which helps us to bring the light back. Then offset goes up. Yeah, it's fine. Now I'm gonna lift the gamma significantly. And here I prefer to lower the highlight. Yeah, we can do the same with the curve and I usually I do. But this time I decided to go differently. There's no right and wrong, just the way you prefer, as long as it gets you to the desired result. At this point, I'm gonna add just a small amount of temperature and saturation, and you'll see why a little bit later. And I think I need to bring the shadow down more. So let's see before and after. As you can see, we've got a proper starting point. Okay, now let's create another two parallel nodes and morph it in the layer mixer. On this node I'm gonna work on a face and create power window. Yeah we can use Kier instead, but I like to work with power windows. For a nice and smooth transition we've got to soften our mask accordingly. Here I'm gonna adjust tint to green just slightly. And to warm up the face I'm gonna add more temperature. Then some contrast adjustment and more highlight. And now let's fast check before and after. I think it's quite nice for the beginning. Ok, next I'm gonna increase the saturation. The reason I'm working with the layer mixer is to isolate the face from the background, which I'm gonna color grade completely different. Let's move this scope so I can work with the curves. Now I'm gonna select green curve only and push some green tone in the highlight. So another fast check before and after. And yeah, it's much more better. Let's move on. On this node, we're gonna work on the background. First, I will adjust the lift and add some blue green tones in the shadows. Even with slight adjustment, you clearly see the difference in the background area. Let's create another serial node. In this one, I'm gonna create custom mask, which will mimic additional lightning and create much more pleasant scene to complement high end commercial look. Color grading is an art. Creative process where you shouldn't be afraid to push the picture and try something new. You can always go back and fix something you don't like. Like always, we need to soften the edges. And even more, push some cool tones in the shadows. Let's zoom this picture to see the details. Now I'm gonna adjust the tint and slightly add more green. Not too much. And add more temperature. If you check skin tone line, it's still fine. But in case it's not, we can always correct that in the previous node. And here's the most important detail. I'm gonna push the gain and add more highlight, so it can look like there is some lightning source from the ground. Now we can see what we've done already, and what difference we've made from the beginning. For the moment, I'm gonna go back to the previous node and slightly adjust the curve to add some small details. Okay. Let's check this out. Yeah, it's fine. Also, I might do the same on this node. Yeah, it seems better in my eyes. So let's create new serial node. And this one will be our beauty fix. 
which I'm gonna soften the mother skin and remove any skin imperfection. Since we don't want to soften her eyes also, I'm gonna make a power window around the eyes and invert the mask, so soften correction will be applied only on the skin. And now it's time to reduce mid-tone details to get a cleaner skin. As you can see, how big difference we've got with just a simple mask. More faster and easier way to do the same would be with the face refinement, which is really amazing tool with many useful options, but unfortunately it's only included in the studio version of DaVinci Resolve. Considering many of you are using free version of Resolve, I decided to cover some possible way of skin correction for free version in this tutorial. In case you're interested, in the next tutorial I can show you the best setting for face refinement. Just let me know. So let me delete this and create new serial node. I'm gonna use this one for brightening eye bags and surrounded area. Here I'm gonna copy and paste the mask from the previous node, then reset the mid-tone details, and finally slightly lift the gain to brighten the eyes. And of course, not to forget to invert the mask back. Before and after, I let me show you without the mask, so you can get a better picture. Okay, let's create two parallel nodes, which will be intended for eyes corrections. So again, I'm gonna create a mask, close around the eye. Then I'm gonna increase outside softness. I lift up meat on details to make the eye crisp and more noticeable. Also, I'm gonna increase the sharpness, just a bit, because our test shot is slightly blurry. Can you spot the difference? Hope your tube compression doesn't remove too much. Just watch this tutorial in 4K and I think you'll be fine. In the next node, I'm gonna copy and paste the mask and do the same procedure for the right eye. So let's go fast forward. Okay, and now we are ready for the final node. For this one, I'm gonna use glow effect, which will be nice final touch once we set up the details. For the first node, I purposely didn't put any noise reduction because this shot is pretty clean. Let's get back to the glow. First I'm gonna increase shine threshold. Yeah, I think that'll be enough. Now let's reduce spread just a bit. Okay, an edge we ratio will be more on an amorphic side, so it can provide narrow light on the face. Also, I'm going to decrease the brightness, because it's too much. Let me fast check what we've done already. Look at his face, guys. It's beauty. Look how far we've come from the beginning and look flat look. Resolve is really amazing. It's a pleasure to work with. And I'm not sponsored for Blackmagic in any way. Maybe I should be. Blackmagic, <laughs> if you're listening to this. Okay, now I'm going to do just one small detail. I go back to the second node and use new HDR option. Here I can soften this highlight just a bit and put the final touch to this image. It's not too much, but remember, small steps create overall perfection. Okay, let's summarize what we've done from the beginning to the end. Before and after, look at the difference. It's crazy, isn't it? Okay, let me disable all nodes. Let's go from the start. First we made our balance node and starting point. The layer mixer, where we separated the face from the background. Next, we made fake background lightning to get impression of more expensive look. Then we created a beauty fix and removed most of the skin imperfection. And in this node, we slightly brightened the eyes area. And then, in two parallel nodes, we sharpened the eyes and brought some details. And finally, we spiced up all with a glow effect and created overall look. Shout out to all of you who stayed with me till the end. So let's see this in the full screen.
hope this tutorial will help you in your future project. Subscribe if you like it, click the bell and see you in the next one. Can you feel me